The Islamic prophet Muhammad, in his mission as a messenger of Allah, united most of the Arabian Peninsula under the banner of a new faith, Islam. After he died in 632 CE, his close friend and confidant, Abu Bakr took over his temporal position as the first caliph of the Rashidun Caliphate, Rashidun meaning, rightly guided, as the first four are called by mainstream Sunni Muslims. The empire rapidly spread into neighboring lands of the Byzantine and the Sasanian Empire. By 656 CE, the Muslims held dominion over all of Levant, Syria, Iraq, Khorasan, Egypt, a portion of the North African Strip, and several islands of the Mediterranean. This rapid expansion, however, was soon to be halted. The third caliph, Usman had become quite unpopular by the end of his days. He had been facing accusations of nepotism, blasphemy, and mistreatment of some community members. Things took a turn for the worse when he dismissed Amar bin Alaz, the conqueror and governor of Egypt, from his office over charges of corruption. Amar sought the aid of Aisha, the youngest wife of Prophet Muhammad, who asked Osman to reinstate Amar, saying that the will of the people of Egypt must be honored but the caliph did not bend. This kick-started the revolt in province of Egypt which soon became the cause of the assassination of Caliph Osman, and started the first civil war of the caliphate which resulted in transfer of power of caliphate from an elected position to a dynasty named Umayyads who are cousins to the Caliph Osman and ruled from Damascus. The rule of Caliph Osman has grown unpopular as Osman has appointed his kinsmen to all of the provincial governorships. He gave the governorships of Kufa and Syria to his half-brother Al-Walid bin Uqba and cousin Muawiyah bin Abi Sufyan. In 646, Osman deposed from the governorship of Egypt Amar bin Al-Az, the conqueror of the province who was popular among the Egyptian troop. He transferred fiscal responsibilities of Egypt to Abdullah bin Sa'd, his adopted brother. The caliph granted a number of land and monetary grants to his relatives Marwan bin al-Hakam and Sayyid bin al-Az, the growing influence of Umayyad clansmen over the caliph and important office of caliphate made several members of community discontented. The politics of Egypt played the major role in the revolt against the caliphate. The governor of Egypt under Osman, Abdullah bin Sa'd was criticized by Egyptians for heavy-handed governing and tax policies. After demands from the Egyptians, Osman dismissed Abdullah bin Sa'd as Egypt's governor and replaced him with Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. After getting the post, while ibn Abi Bakr and his supporters were on their way to Egypt, they came across the caliph's envoy. The rebels searched for the envoy's personal belongings and found it a letter purportedly written by Osman, which was to be sent to Abdullah bin Sa'd. In the letter, Osman purportedly ordered death punishment for ibn Abi Bakr and his supporters. Enraged by the letter, Ibn Abi Bakr and his supporters, then set off to Medina to threaten the caliph. After the rebels arrived, Ali saw the letter and had a conversation with Osman, who claimed to have been unaware of the letter. Historians have suggested that the letter may have been authored by Marwan bin al-Hakam without Osman's knowledge. When Egyptian rebels returned to Medina, Outraged by the official letter ordering the capital punishment of their leaders, Ali as the guarantor of Osman's promises, asked Osman to speak with the rebels directly. Osman denied any knowledge of the letter, and Ali and Muhammad bin Maslama attested to this. But by this time the choices offered by the rebels amounted to only the resignation or abdication of Osman and selection of another caliph. As turmoil broke out, Ali left. He seems to have broken with Osman in despair over his own inability to break the influence of Marwan on the caliph. Ali intervened only after being informed that the rebels were preventing the delivery of water to the besieged caliph. He tried to mitigate the severity of the siege by his insistence that Osman should be allowed to have water. Ali also sent his two sons Hassan and Hussein to protect Osman's house when he was in danger of being attacked. In June 656, a group of rebels climbed from the back of Osman's house, crept inside, unbeknownst to the gate guards. While Osman was reading the Quran, the rebels plunged into the caliph's room and struck blows at his head, from which Osman subsequently died at around the age of 77 or 80 years old. The 8th century historian Sef bin Umar cites Al Ghafiqi bin Harb, Kinana bin Bishr, and Sudan bin Humran as those who murdered the caliph with their hands. According to Al Tabari, some of Osman's slaves counter attacked, 
one of whom killed an assassin and was in turn killed by the rebels. The rebels tried to decapitate Osman's corpse, though his wife Naila intercepted and her fingers were cut off. When Osman was killed in 656 CE by rebels from Egypt, Kufa and Basra, the potential candidates for caliphate were Ali and Talha. The Umayyads had fled Medina, and the Egyptians, prominent Muhajirin, and Ansar had gained control of the city. Among the Egyptians, Talha enjoyed some support. However, the Bajans and Kufis, who had heeded Ali's opposition to the use of violence, and most of the Ansar openly supported Ali's caliphate and finally got the upper hand. In particular, Malik al-Ashta, the leader of the Kufis, seems to have played a key role in facilitating the caliphate of Ali. Before the assassination of Osman, the Basri and Kufi rebels were in favor of Talha and Zubair respectively. After the assassination of Osman, however, both groups turned to Ali. Ali was offered the office of caliphate which he turned down and then accepted. Caliphate of Ali has begun. Aisha, Talha, and Zubair opposed Ali's succession and gathered in Mecca, where they called for vengeance for Osman's death and the election of a new caliph, presumably either Talha or Zubair, through consultation. Ali was subsequently recognized caliph after the defeat of Aisha and death of Talha and Zubair at the Battle of Kamal, the first major conflict of the first fitna. We are planning to make a detailed video about the Battle of Kamal in future so be sure to subscribe our channel and stay tuned.